Hey everybody, just a quick update following yesterday's video because uh, it has been overcast and snowing for five days continuously. There was no sunlight and there has been no heat input to the greenhouse. Uh, today is the first sunny day and let's go into the greenhouse and see how bad it is. I just finished uh, cleaning the snow. Right now it's 10.30 in the morning and the temperature here is a minor 30 Celsius and last night it was like minor 35, minor 36, 6. So now let's go into the greenhouse and check out how bad it is. Okay. See the frost on the edge of the door. And like yesterday, I haven't opened the insulated blankets. Point zero point six degrees, but actually it has uh, uh, rise a little bit because uh, in the, at about nine o'clock I came and it was about minus two. So the worst scenario, the lowest the temperature in this greenhouse in the whole year is like minus two, minus three after. A couple of days continuous uh, cloudy, no no sunlight. Uh, they freeze a little bit. They freeze a little bit, but they will recover. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, roll up the insulated blankets, and after an hour, I will come back and check how warm it is in the greenhouse. Hi guys, now it's 1 o'clock at noon and the outside temperature is minus 26. Let's go inside the greenhouse and check it, check the temperature inside. Temperature now is 21 degrees and uh, it's still rising. And this place is uh, close to the sidewall, so it's a little colder than the middle. So, in the middle of the greenhouse, it should be two degrees higher than here. And uh, the vegetables are recovering from the frost last night. They should be okay. They are pretty winter hardy. So minus two, minus three degrees for a couple of days won't kill them. But uh, actually I'm supposed to put another layer of uh, plastic on top. Uh, if I did that, they won't freeze at all. But uh, I'm, I'm too lazy. Um, and uh, I don't really depend on the revenue from the leafy veggies and they are like uh, experiment this year I need to know when to grow them and how long they need to grow in winter before I can cut them um, so my main source of revenue is uh, tomatoes so closer closer to the middle of the greenhouse is uh, warmer and the dewweed is doing better and uh, Chinese cabbage is also doing better. So a lot of people ask me, why don't you use other technologies to heat the greenhouse, like geothermal, climate battery, uh, or compost uh, pile, or even just throw a, a wood stove inside the greenhouse, or solar panel, or lights, well, if you consider my situation, 
and the size of the greenhouse, you will understand the reason. This greenhouse is uh, 10,000 square feet. It's pretty big. Any technology to heat the greenhouse other than the sunlight will cost too much for me. And uh, I'm not growing for my family only. Uh, I'm growing food for other people. You know, it's a business. So whatever I do, the first thing come into my mind is uh, the cost and budget. And uh, right now I'm building a second greenhouse. What if I have 10 in the future? I, I cannot do, say, geothermal for, for all of them. So what I'm trying to figure out here is a standard solution, a very cost-effective solution to do a larger scale business to grow food with pretty low cost. Okay. So I'm going to show you the tomato seedlings and I'm going to show you how I grow tomatoes in, in summertime. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, here I have about 1800 tomato seedlings. So. They are heated from below. These are the heating wires. And there's a thermostat. Now the temperature is uh, blinking, but the temperature is 22 degrees. Uh, at night, I keep it between 12 and 15. Uh, right now, I don't want them to grow too quick because they are still too big for the trays. I'm supposed to transplant them in pots and then transplant them into the soil before March. I'm pretty busy these days, so I'm going to start to transplant them to pots um, in three days maybe. Okay, thank you for watching.